So this is my X-ray generator made from oak box and um, it's designed to fit in my room with my, my furniture. So this is how it looks inside. We have a oak box uh, and I have a, a half a millimeter of the lead and uh, two millimeters of the, the aluminum so and because it's create cone so it's always reacting on the angle so the cross area for x-ray to come out it's quite large and even uh, for the airport is it's more than um, enough to slow down x-rays because energy is very low and here we have the output of the tube this is a micro focus tube and uh, here we have a power supplies one for the tablet one for the uh, x-ray controller here we have a, a step down to, uh, to 5 volts, uh, 24 volts and 12 volts and minus, to, uh, minus 12 volts for the x-ray control, uh, x-ray generator. Here we have the FPG and the x-ray controller for timing and motors and so on. It also has USB connection and USB hub for the sensor. So sensor connects to the USB hub on this board. And here I have 5 volts, minus 5 volts, I switch the power supply for the Hamatsu sensor. And that's about it. Here is the power input. This box weighs a ton. So. Sensor is the largest Hamatsu sensor uh, for X-ray. It's 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters, and it just mounts on the this aluminum plate that goes inside. That provides a little bit of shielding. Okay, so let's start the application. So it's an X-ray scanner, and it gives some information about uh, what sensor I have, what firmware I have, what CPTD handle, and what's the energy of the X-ray. So this is the uh, integration time, and this is the energy, or basically kilo electron volts. So let's press single. As you can see, energy has ramping, and uh, yep. I have an image. So this is the Skyworks um, RF amplifier. It's, it's, it says uh, multi-module or um, something like that. Um, and he, I, I was expecting single chip, but this is a seven, uh, seven millimeters by seven millimeters. And you can see every bond wires, everything. And you can see the matching and the input matching and the, and the filters and everything. So I was I was not expecting that. I was expecting a single chip, but uh, yeah. So this is why we, uh, this is why I have this uh, X-ray machine, so I can look into very tiny things. And of course, it's it's mounted in here, so it's very high magnification. And this is how the inside looks like after mounting the sensor. So let's play some big FPGA and see how it looks. Let's place this calculator on the sensor directly, so we have, so we get exactly one to one magnification. Well, a bit more, but you get the idea. And it looks very cool. So we can see the energy. Look at that! You can see all the tracks, all all the batteries, all the clips inside, everything. And I will adjust. It's very touchy, I have to make this bigger. It's very hard to get it right, but I will try. So, as you can see, resolution is very high. You can see the bond wires, we can see the chip, you can see the capacitor in here, in here, uh, main chip in here. We have wires for the solar cell and the small battery, it goes in here. also can change the palette so this is light this is called metal so it's like uh, I like this one it's like a, a flare cameras or something like that we have aqua and uh, we have over this is the RGB scale so I bring is red it's it's very uh, it's basically 
uh, di direct the uh, X-ray to sensor, and what is blue, dark blue, it's it's stopped by the mass of the object. Yeah, and we can save JPEG. Uh, I will change the scale a bit. Oh, like this. So it looks quite nice. FPG is mounted to the X source window. So let's press single to get the image. Look at that. So we can clearly see that here is the crystal, and we have a lot of uh, land, uh, Iceland, Iceland for the bond wires, and we have very high, uh, very dark balls because even a small amount of metal will not penetrate it, and we can adjust. Just the image. Look at that. It's very high resolution image. It's 4000 by 4000 on 12 centimeters square. And you can see every single bond wire. And let's let's save it on like G -G JPEG and PNG. And we can save as BMP. And it's uh, binary. And the binary is uh, highest resolution. It's 14 bits of data. And we can see the histogram of the of the sensor output. So we have some white, a lot of white, and we have a sensor itself. And as you can see, X-ray source is very weak, and I'm only using like one one nearly half of the of the energy intensity for the sensor. So yeah, this is the quick look around about my project and uh, uh, one thing, uh, this is the, for the uh, mouse and this is a USB to retake USB hub from the tablet so I can connect my computer and do some debugging and uh, optimization of this program. So thank you for watching, if you have any questions please uh, leave them below and uh, I wish you a good day.